So for answers, uh, let's first the, the the very first thing that you got to do is that you switch uh, the analysis type from 3D to 2D, and uh, here we have the same model, uh, the same geometry, and uh, oops, and that is cut out from a plane, and uh, that's the trim. And uh, we're going to use it as an axis metric model about this axis, and uh, let's do that. So we input geometry to the problem, and uh, yeah, open it. But we made sure that it's the 2D. Like if you accidentally do the 3D, then uh, you might have to switch it from here, or sometimes it doesn't allow you. So you're going to be a little bit careful here. Right. Now, let's create a mesh. Wow, that, that's bad. <laughs> so we want to do it like, give it a sizing of, uh, what did we do, like 0.1 meter? That was 100 mil. Face sizing. 100 mil, and but we don't want to defeature it really and uh, generate mesh. So I'm gonna stop defeaturing from here uh, because that will create the, might, that might create problems. Wow, where did they go? The mesh is too huge. Uh, nope. And uh, element size is 100 mil. Largest and uh, minimum control. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with them for now. So let's try this. Yep, it's gonna take a bit of time. And yeah, mesh is still bad. So let, let's try it for now, and uh, then we can change it. So this is called axis, and uh, this one is left. Oops, I'm doing a lot of mistakes today. Inlet. That is outlet, and this thing is wall. Now we want to make sure that this entire thing, is, these two lines are the axis. So yeah, two edges, and then we just hit generate. Now this is the same mesh size that we put there uh, in in SolidWorks. So let's try it. And uh, yeah, 2D double precision, and then we we'll just, just increase them. Uh, 8. Now, in, in a 2D space, uh, we don't want to run the planar one, right? But le let's let's be a bit goofy and then try and then see like what happens when you do the planar one. Like, do something wrong happen? So, I'm just gonna run it. Mm, like, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it uh, to be turbulent and uh, with SSDK Omega. And that's air, right? For axis, we have uh, the wall because it's it's a two D planar problem, right? Oops. Yeah. Wall inlet, and uh, there we put like magnetic components. X component are ten meter per second. I'm not gonna uh, check these for now. And uh, so yeah, just leave them like this. Uh, I prefer second order, but for now, first order, and then uh, we have initialization. I just do it, and um, 
the number of iterations to be a thousand. Now this is a very faster but uh, a mindless procedure for uh, analysis and I don't recommend it. Uh, but let's check the, the contours anyway. Uh, velocity, compute and display. Wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, how does it compare to the ones that we had here? Yeah, this one looks good than better than this one. So let's get back to the meshing and uh, change it. And let's get uh, make it like 50. I'm gonna delete it and uh, generate mesh. Now the reason for it to be looking bad. Uh, it could be anything like the mesh was really bad and uh, 50 mil is too bad still too big okay now it looks like something but uh, not completely right so we update it and as we haven't changed anything other than, than the mesh so we just update it and then we, we will just initialize again and then run it again so it's loading the mesh information it will show here right so and uh, yeah, well, let's initialize again and uh, yeah now it ran very well Yeah, now looks a bit better, but how does it compare? So, uh, we don't know. Mm, we still are missing these bits and this bit here, and we have some some velocity over here. And uh, does it? Yeah, this one is pretty bad. So yeah, that kind of thing, but. Like, would it make any difference when it's axisymmetric and uh, no? So let's save these results here and uh, change it from the model to be axisymmetric and uh, then I gotta change it to the axis to be axis. Yeah, okay. Now the inlet is velocity inlet, axis is axis, and outlet is pressure outlet. So let's initialize again, hybrid initializing, yeah, and uh, calculate. Now let me ask you a quick, quick question, should the results be different or, or no? Uh, you get a minute to think over it um, unless I show you what difference it should have oops hmm ah, the mesh is pretty bad yet but does it look any different than uh, this one? And does it look any different than this one? And uh, 
what about that thing? <laughs> we don't know like so if you had no idea which which results were good then you're fudged really so let's try again and uh, and define the mesh a bit more so um, here I'm gonna use like 20 millimeter and it's gonna take a lot of time to mesh but uh, that's fine Now it's taking a lot of time and uh, it, it, it's been 10 minutes since it's, it's meshing. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to create a box around here and then mesh uh, only that part with very high density. So let's stop this one and, uh, and create the split lines here and uh, now we're going to, we are only going to mesh this region with the uh, very high density. So let's update it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to update geometry from results. Oops. Geometry from source. Now this will become very tricky and uh, sizing 20 and then. Let it be a hundred and uh, let's try now. You know, like this is unstructured mesh, so unstructured mesh usually takes a lot of time to make sense out of it. So, yeah, and it, it just made it as well. So, I would have to behave here hard, or maybe I, I should just mesh all these edges with the, that. But let's see. Yeah, still weird. Wow, well, default. I didn't change it. That was so stupid. And well, I hope it doesn't take a lot of time so we can move on to the simulation here. And so we have our high density mesh. So this is like 20 mil around here, but it's still too coarse. And I don't like this interface here. But nevertheless, let's go on with it. And update. Now, you, we have to be very careful here that it might have changed the zones. It automatically detected it. No, yeah, it doesn't. So now let's reset it. I'm not gonna waste time on uh, matching it. It's way easier for me to just reset it. Double precision and. Uh, But again, just make sure that you have the axis symmetric over here. Um, for the 2D flow problem, yeah. Changing the zone type to symmetry one or the switch the problem to axis symmetric. Now we just did. And axis is axis and inlet is 10. Thanks.
increasing our velocity is 10. No, but now we have a problem here. Like just when we split it out, we we now have two edges here. There should be two inlets, two edges as inlets, and two edges as outlets. And so do we have like four edges as the axis? No, I would have to reset that again. So this happens when you don't think it through and you're just too quick to get some results. And uh, let's do it again. This axis and uh, going from inlet to outlet, and uh, and yeah, that's the only thing that we can change for now. Well, we have that a thousand and. Uh, Now, here is another question, like, should the results be any different than uh, the ones we have previously? That looks pretty neat, and uh, and that thing. So it seems like uh, with the with the refined mesh, only these things. Yeah, this region and that region. It has many zones, so we have that one and uh, this one. This region and this region, and they, they are visibly different. And also this trail that is going through this dead zone. And what else? Look at this thing. This thing now, and also this profile is pretty neat. That means the mesh has a higher influence on it. So what do we have as, as the highest velocity? That's 20 meter per second. And what did we have here? Um, that's 17. Nice. So it improved, huh? And uh, but which one do we trust? Which one is better? So we don't know yet because both meshes are uh, unstructured and uh, not so dense. So let's try again with the structured mesh and uh, let's see the procedure of making the structured mesh. And uh, because you don't see that all of these are very nicely spread out and uh, uh, sometimes they are okay but sometimes, sometimes they make problems. So let's see, like, what happens if we make them structured and do the results are any different than that or no? So just hang on with it, please. Thank you.